everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about why it is that CP has a larger value than CV. Remember, for a monatomic ideal gas, the value of CP is 5 halves R, and the value of CV is 3 halves R. And the value of R that we're using, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. So remember, these are heat capacity values. Heat capacity is the amount of energy it takes in order to raise one mole or one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin. So now remember, energy is either the ability to produce heat or do work. So now consider, of those two that energy can produce, which one would change temperature, work or heat? Hopefully you answered heat. So now, if we look at a, we'll start with constant volume case. When the volume does not change, there can be no work. So that means all of the energy that you are putting into the system can only be converted into heat. So everything you're putting in is going to raising the temperature of your system. When it's constant pressure, the energy will still go to produce some heat, but there will also be some loss to work. So in order to get exactly the same temperature change, you need to put more energy in the constant pressure circumstance to make up for this loss of work. And that's why CP is bigger than CV.